It's summertime in Florida, and that means we have seasonal daily thunderstorms, and that also means it's the start of hurricane season, and we just had a hurricane come really close and brush the coast, and thankfully it didn't do any damage here in Florida, but it's always worth going to the beach and kind of seeing what it might have stirred up, because hurricanes almost always bring other things with them like birds and other kinds of weird wildlife. So let's go to one of my favorite places for photography and see what happened. Come on, let's go. I arrive about 30 minutes before sunrise, and apparently there's an early morning breakfast extravaganza happening at the local tide pool as dozens of birds, varying in species, discuss the best ways to make a quick early morning catch of fish. A tern casually flies over, keeping a sharp eye on the water below, searching for that perfect opportunity, but it doesn't find it. This group of gulls decides that teamwork is the best option as they huddle together while making individual dives into the water, but their group effort ends in nothing more than wet feathers. Meanwhile, this beautiful roseate spoonbill has better things to do. Those pink feathers must look their best at all times. And as I'm lulled into a tranquil state of bliss by the hypnotizing sound of the soft waves rolling over my bare feet, my moment of childlike daydreaming is quickly eroded by the sound of something crashing into the water directly to my right. I turn my camera towards the sound and an osprey rises like a phoenix from the ashes. And in its talons, a huge fish. Let me rewind that. Even though I've watched this clip more times than I would like to admit, I still can't get over this bird's dramatic exit from the water. Look at that, absolutely incredible. And this is the perfect example of why I respectfully call these birds the master of air and sea. Talk about strength and determination, this bird has it and it manages to add some elegance and grace to the mix as well. But this fish isn't quite secure. The right set of talons doesn't have a solid hold on the fish, so the osprey makes for a quick grab, but misses. It looks down and tries a second time and misses yet again. But the third time is the charm as the osprey sinks its talons into the fish's back and heads out for a nice fish breakfast. <laughs> to my left, another huge splash, and another osprey comes out of the water with a massive Atlantic manhaden. This fish is much larger, and once again, the osprey doesn't like its grip. This time the bird lets go with its left talons and goes for the fish's head. Once the talons are secure, the right set grabs the underside of the fish, making for a nice aerodynamic grip, and the osprey can sail away problem free. Or can it? Another osprey has spotted this grand catch, and it decides to come in for a quick steal, but the bird isn't quite quick enough. I keep my eyes on this bird as it circles back and it comes flying in so close and fast, I can hear the sound of the wind as it rips past the bird's feathers. Keeping it in the frame is difficult to say the least. The bird crashes into the water right next to me and it emerges from the water and in its talons, another huge Atlantic manhaden. This bird is sure of its grip as it ascends higher into the sky in search of a nice perch where it can sit and eat its well-deserved meal. Talk about a good start to the day. All of this and the sun still hasn't made its way over the horizon. And when it does, this wise looking wood stork welcomes the warmth and the soft orange light that comes with it. A reddish egret stops to strike what I think might be the coolest pose I have ever seen from the species. And a black crowned night heron graces us with its magnificent presence. These birds are nocturnal, so this one is most likely getting ready for bed. But the snowy egret who is perfectly perched on a chunk of old rusty metal isn't ready for sleep. It's ready to eat. It hops to another perch and its scale covered feet tipped with long black nails wrap perfectly around a barnacle laden old piece of iron. This is definitely a strike pose and it isn't long until the bird plucks a tiny semi-translucent fish from the water. The high resolution of the Sony A7R4 giving us a nice close-up shot of the action. The fish tries its best to escape, but its fate ends here. And the reddish egret, it curiously watches from above, but the snowy egret has other plans. This aggressive looking posture is just that. Only one snowy egret is allowed in this area, and this bird has no problems asserting its dominance over any other snowy egrets that dare come into its territory. Its act of aggression goes unrewarded, and the bird that was chased away, well, it enjoys a nice fish breakfast. All of this action has grabbed the attention of the reddish egret, who comes flying in for a closer look, 
only to find another reddish egret on the scene. And while these two birds appear to be gracefully standing in the shallow water, this pose is definitely more of an aggressive nature. Let's leave these birds to their early morning feuding and head over to the beach to see what's going on over there. Now that is a nice view. These flowers aren't normally blooming like this, so I stopped for a minute to take them in. But directly behind me, there's something very different going on. Hundreds of bait fish are moving through the inlet. Large predatory fish have chased them to the surface where they breach the water in hopes of living another day. But the terns are swooping in from above and grabbing the fish as soon as they pop out of the water. Let's see if we can get a closer look at these birds. There are at least two types of terns here. And this, this is a sandwich tern. I have no idea why it's been named sandwich, but maybe if you're having a nice beach picnic, this bird would eagerly come by and steal your sandwich. However it acquired the name, it's a beautiful bird that can easily be differentiated from the others by the light color on the tip of its beak. The other tern is a royal tern. It's a little larger and a lot louder, but definitely a lot less fearful of people because they come flying in really close. And take a look at how the bottom beak has actually skewered that fish. It's amazing how these birds manage to do that. But what's even more amazing is watching them shake the fish off and send it free flying through the air while the bird scrambles to make the midair catch, which doesn't always work well, as you can tell from this picture. But this feeding frenzy isn't quite over just yet. Two sandwich turns right on the surface of the water can only mean one thing. And this shot shows us why they are here. The small fish they were eyeballing is now literally being swallowed whole by a much larger game fish. You can just barely make out the game fish's eye beneath the surface of the water. I think the game fish is a large amberjack. A different turn zeroes in on another small bait fish as it surfaces. It's tiny dorsal fin slicing through the surface of the water, but once again, the large amberjack ambushes from underneath and the tiny fish goes flying in the air. But another turn makes a last ditch effort at grabbing the fish and manages to get a nice face full of nothing but stinging saltwater. Ouch. These birds put forth a lot of effort for very little food, but one sandwich turn does manage to grab a fish and it also manages to grab the attention of a young brown pelican who comes flying in and grabs a gull who has grabbed a fish. <laughs> Whoa, talk about food chain. I wonder what the fish has in its mouth. I have seen brown pelicans get aggressive and attempt to steal food from other birds, but I've never seen them actually grab another bird. I've also never seen a brown pelican eat another bird, but that pouch looks big enough to fit this entire gull. And as the pelican lifts the gull up, for a moment, I think the gull is indeed going into the pelican's pouch. But the pelican drops the gull, and both birds end up losing a meal. Never a dull moment, and that is especially true when you turn your eyes to the sky and see this. An osprey flying by with a nice snapper clutched tightly in its talons. I was so busy watching the turns, I never saw this osprey hit the water. And that's fine, because this juvenile bird makes an attempt. I love that you can just barely see its talons coming down in this shot. And then of course those talons come down as the bird nears the surface of the water, but the bird backed out at the last second. This is really common with younger osprey. And notice how the bird's wings are more of a horizontal position. That's yet another good indication that this young bird isn't fully committed to the dive. It comes in from the other side. And once again, notice the position of the wings. They're still more of a horizontal position. And yep, the bird backs off but then a more experienced osprey shows us how it's done. See how this bird is mostly vertical? This bird is fully committed to the dive and take a look at its face. It even appears to be more determined and focused. This bird hits the water and its emergence is just as beautiful as its descent. And of course, its experience is well rewarded with a huge catch, a nice big ladyfish and the osprey happily escorts its long slender catch up and over the tranquil blue waters of the mighty Atlantic Ocean and disappears on the horizon. Hey, thanks for coming along with me on this adventure. If you'd like to support me and what I do, the best thing that you can do is actually share this video, tell people about it. If you'd like the images that you saw, check out my quick start guides for the Sony a7R4 and the A9. They'll help you achieve uh, similar results. I also have t-shirts like this one. Actually, my daughter made this one, so all the proceeds from this would go to her. 
Let me know what you thought of the video. If you had any questions, go ahead and leave all that in the comment, in the comment section below. And I'll try to get to it in a question and answer video a little bit later. Go ahead and hit the thumbs up. I told you to share already. If you haven't done that, go ahead and do it. What are you waiting for? Share it. Yeah. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that as well. And until next time, I'll see you later.